How secure do you think the world's top intelligence agency is? That's a question many of us would answer with a confident, extremely. But in the case of the Central Intelligence Agency or CIA, a surprising lapse in security led to a monumental breach. Picture this, an elite unit within the CIA, the heart of America's intelligence, creating top-secret computer hacking tools. These are not your run-of-the-mill cyber weapons but sophisticated tools designed to infiltrate and manipulate the systems of adversaries. But here's the twist. While they were busy building these digital weapons, they were overlooking something crucial. Securing their own systems. Yes, the very same systems where they were developing and storing these formidable tools. You could say they were so focused on looking out the window, they didn't notice the door was wide open. The irony is palpable. The creators of cyber weapons, the experts in hacking, failing to secure their own digital fortress. This lack of internal security measures would lead to an unprecedented event, one that would shake the CIA to its core. Ironically, the creators of hacking tools fell victim to a hack. In an unexpected turn of events, their own weapons turned against them. Imagine this, the year is 2017, and the world is about to witness one of the most significant breaches in the history of the Central Intelligence Agency, colloquially known as the CIA. This breach would go down in infamy as Vault 7. Now Vault 7 wasn't just any leak. This was a monumental disclosure of classified information that shook the very foundations of the intelligence community. We're talking about the theft of up to 34 terabytes of data. Yes, you heard that right, 34 terabytes, a staggering volume of information containing the CIA's top-secret computer hacking tools. These were tools designed by the best minds within the CIA's Cyber Intelligence Unit, tools meant to protect national security and carry out covert operations. Instead, they found themselves in the public domain, published for all to see by the whistleblower organization WikiLeaks. And as if the leak itself wasn't shocking enough, the aftermath was equally dramatic. The prime suspect in this grand theft was none other than a former CIA employee, Joshua Schulte. Schulte found himself in the eye of the storm, facing a criminal trial accused of being the insider who handed over the keys to the kingdom. But this wasn't just about one disgruntled employee or a single act of betrayal. This breach exposed a glaring flaw in the very fabric of the CIA's operations. Here was an elite intelligence unit so focused on developing cyber weapons they neglected to secure their own systems. The breach laid bare the vulnerabilities within the world's most elite intelligence agency. It was a sobering reminder of the delicate balance between power and responsibility, a lesson learned in the harshest way possible. The fallout was catastrophic. With the Vault 7 leak, the walls of the CIA's cyber fortress crumbled, exposing a vault of classified information and source code. It was as if the agency's secret blueprint had been laid bare for the world to see. The leak was a severe blow to the CIA's operations and security, and its shock waves were felt far beyond the confines of the agency's headquarters. The exposure was not just a breach of secrecy, it was an unveiling of the agency's most prized tools and techniques, the very heart of its cyber operations. The leak revealed a vast array of malware and exploits, a testament to the agency's powerful hacking capabilities. But with this power now laid bare, the agency's capabilities were compromised. The tools it had created to secure its missions were now potential threats to those very missions. The fallout extended beyond the immediate operational damage, the leak raised a storm of concerns about the risks posed by the CIA's compromised capabilities. If the agency's own vault could be breached, how secure were its operations? If its own tools could be turned against it, how safe were its missions? But the fallout was not confined to the CIA. The leak sparked a global debate about the control and security of cyber weapons. It raised questions about the balance between the need to develop powerful cyber tools and the need to secure them. It highlighted the risks of a growing global cyber arms race, and the need for oversight and controls to prevent such weapons from falling into the wrong hands. In essence, the fallout from the Vault 7 leak was a wake-up call. It was a reminder of the perils of the digital age, and the urgent need to ensure the security of our cyber arsenals. The leak sparked a global debate about the control and security of cyber weapons. So, what can we learn from this? As we unspool the threads of this complex narrative, the lessons we can glean from the CIA hacking saga are numerous and significant. Firstly, cybersecurity is not just a concern for big corporations or small startups. Even the most secure organizations such as the CIA are not immune to breaches. This underscores the universal importance of robust, up-to-date cyber defenses. 
Secondly, the balance between developing cyber weapons and securing existing systems is delicate, yet crucial. The CIA's case demonstrates the perils of prioritizing the creation of cyber tools over the fortification of their own systems. A holistic approach to cybersecurity, one that emphasizes both offense and defense, is key. Lastly, the Vault 7 leak brings to light the urgent need for transparency and public oversight in government agencies' use of cyber tools. The power of these tools is vast, and their misuse can have far-reaching consequences. These lessons are not just applicable to intelligence agencies or tech companies, they are relevant to us all, as we navigate an increasingly digital world. The CIA leak serves as a stark reminder, no system is invincible.